This video will introduce you to the two common categories of lung pathologies and their effect on lung volume and respiration. Here you can see I've written out an example of total lung capacity in the sense of normal obstructive disorders and restrictive disorders. These two categories, obstructive and restrictive, are the two main categories of lung pathologies that affect respiration. As you can see, I've made subcategories inside the diagram for normal respiration indicating the different subsections of total lung capacity. Inspiratory re reserve volume, tidal volume, expiratory res reserve volume, excuse me, and residual volume. In, obstructive, in the obstructive category of lung pathologies, you can see that there are slight changes to, the di to their diagram. Obstructive pathologies are the kinds that limit or restrict airflow. This means there's something wrong with the actual passageways, the actual movement of air. Obstructive disorders are commonly seen in conditions like asthma, emphysema, and airway tumors. Now, since it is a limitation of airflow, this is going to be this pathology will manifest itself in a lack to lack of expiration, meaning that your expiratory reserve volume and your residual volume are going to be more affected. You can see your inspiratory reserve volume is actually going to be bigger, meaning you have no problem breathing in air and you have no problem with your lungs expanding. Rather, you have a problem with pushing that air back out because the airway is actually limited. It's actually obstructed by something, whether it be a tumor, emphysema, or asthma. Restrictive pathologies, or the, the category known as restrictive pathologies of the lung, also have a different diagram from normal or obstructive. In restrictive pathologies, excuse me, you have a problem with inspiration, meaning that you have a problem with your lungs actually expanding. Your airways are fine, but the lungs cannot physically expand. You see this type of pathology in conditions like fibrosis of the lungs, spinal deformities, pregnancy, and myasthenia gravis, other neuromuscular problems as well. Here you can see that this disease manifests itself with a lessened inspiratory reserve volume, meaning that those lungs cannot fully inspire. They cannot fully breathe in air because they cannot stretch any further. Their expiratory volume are pretty similar to what is normal, meaning that they have no problem with their airways and they can fully expire like normal. 